Hey, how's it going? This is Roots. And uh, if you're watching this, you're watching our uh, review of on Virtual Strangers of Lucky's Tale. And uh, I guess we'll just go ahead and get into it. Uh, so, Lucky's Tale is um, was uh, released March 28th, 2016, and uh, goes for $14.99. I guess it was free um, up until not too long ago when the Rift S came out. So that's worth noting. Um, a lot of people got to experience this for free, and a lot of people are not going to get to experience this for free. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's definitely, a, a, in my opinion, a must-play platforming game. Um, Oculus Rift exclusive, I guess it was, and you pretty much have to uh, play it through Revive or something of that nature. Um, now, uh, Alex, you've played this, right? What do you think of, um, I guess, your brief impressions before we get deep into it? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I liked it. It's 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 a good it's a good uh, introduction to platformers in VR. I know some people have. Uh, I mean, and I was it was one of my early games, so I did actually have a few issues with it made my stomach go a little bit. Um, and I know I've heard some people say that they literally can't play this because of the motion sickness. So um, yeah, it's 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 an interesting one. It's it's a cool little. Um, it's not a massive game probably two hours maybe two and a half hours but yeah it's, it's it's got it's got like that um cool mario sort of theme to it um yeah i'll pass it to you as what's uh, what are your initial impressions of this what did you think to this this game yeah it's it's very well done it's a um this is the original vr platformer this is our first taste of a mario like game in vr and the the cuteness level of it all is what really stuck out to me. Um, the uh, the characters, the levels, everything's very cartoony and colorful. Um, the graphics are, are very good. I guess we'll get to that in just a moment. But uh, the levels uh, I like particularly. The uh, they're not a hundred percent linear. There are branching paths and hidden areas. I liked it, and overall, a, a very, a very good platforming game. A lot of the elements that people love about uh, platforming in VR, in the flat games uh, are present in this VR version of a platformer. So yeah, a very solid title, uh, a very good platformer. Yeah, I agree. Hey, you mentioned graphics. Uh, graphics, uh, graphically, I think this thing. Um, it is super colorful, very sharp, very. Um, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it was made three years ago. To me, honestly, I just played through the first three or four worlds this morning, and I was really taken by just how good it looked. Now, I, you know, a lot of it's super sampling, but um, it just. I, it's the graphically. I, I think it's not lacking at all, and. Um, really in anything i don't know alex what do you do you agree do you think uh the graphics are good on this or is there something they could have improved i think in? the graphic the graphics are good but it is a three-year-old game and i think it, there are better versions of this now uh, this is obviously the very first 3d sort of third person platformer in vr um we're going to talk about another one well you guys are going to talk about another one later on in the week which is obviously way way better mm -hmm. than this so this is kind of like the og uh proof of concept almost of this can work in vr it's a good game overall i enjoyed my time with it i wouldn't say it's like the best game of like platform i've ever played or anything but it's it was just for me i think it was just because it was an early game i was new to vr i was just surprised how good it felt being in vr and having this little fox right in front of you um and obviously sometimes he waves at you and everything and, and yeah it's, it's, it's not a bad looking game it's not certainly not the best looking platform we've got, but for an early 2000 launch title, 2016 launch title, um, I think it does the job, and it used to be free, so it was one. It was a no brainer, really. Uh, it's it's worth saying it's it's now ten pounds ninety nine, or forty ninety nine dollars, which you know it's it's, I think it's still not a bad price for it. This bit actually, what they're showing now, this is my favourite type. I love these little side levels they were like the mario sort of side scrollers yeah this was my favorite parts of the game uh, mine as well uh, this, this is why it goes back to what i was saying earlier uh, whereas other games uh 
play with large scale to uh, really impress upon you uh, the the power of VR. This game kind of does the opposite and plays with small scale. And there, there's nowhere in the game that that's more uh, obvious than in the underground corridors. Also, my favorite part of the game as well, just to see the, the little details that they put into these very short stretches of level, but still very cool and, and very fun to experience. Yeah, I definitely I agree um, for sure. Yeah, I mean, uh, so if I guess the graphics are a little outdated, what do you... Um, I guess we'll move on to uh, gameplay because I, I, you know, the game that you're going to talk about in the next one, um, which we'll leave just as a mystery, I'm sure people know. Um, but uh, I, I feel like the mechanics on this game were more old school and they kept building and you kept the, it kept getting more difficult. And there was like a lot of jumping and doing weird things that um, you would die over and over again because it just, uh, it's it seemed like it has it just has more mechanics to it not um, not that it's a, a better mechanics per se but it just felt more old school like you said you just feel like you're playing a game you could be playing on a um on a flat screen but you're in in the game type of thing whereas the other game is is more of a monumental thing i guess it's it is so but uh wes what do you think uh gameplay wise what uh do you think it's as as good as I think it is, or do you think it's it's also um, a little antiquated? No, no, I think it's a fun game, and I think what you're saying is actually true. That this is more, this is a better representation of the old platforming style than than any other game. This is, it's very basic gameplay. You're jumping, you're you have a jump button, you have an attack button, and it's all about those two functions. And it's all about exploring the levels and, uh, and making it to the other side, collecting things. It's, it's basic flat game platforming in a 3D environment. And it's very well done, professional level job here, AAA quality uh, platforming game. So yeah, I think it's just as, uh, as fun as any basic flat platforming game uh, uh, is. So yeah, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I think I think you've hit the nail on the head there. It is kind of this this is this is basically kind of like a, just a flat game mm-hmm. in VR, effectively. Really, the the gameplay itself is just very it's solid, but it is kind of just normal a normal uh, you know platformer. It's not doing anything really special. Um, it's, it's, it plays fine. It's not a bad game to play, um, but they're obviously the game's moved on now, and we've. We've seen developers take concepts like this and, and build upon it, and, and and use the VR in more interesting ways. So this is a good introduction to, to VR platforming, but there are now after we we should hope there should be after three years, mm-hmm. but there are obviously now better options in terms of uh, being more innovative within the VR space and actually be making more use of you being in VR. Yeah, that's the big thing that we're starting to see in most of these platformers, right? Is um, where not only are is you, the character in, but you are in VR as well as a extra character, whether it be Moss or Astrobot or any of those games, or even Trover saves the universe. Um, it seems to be an overlying theme in a lot of these games, and actually, I like it. You know, it does make you feel like you're in the game as well as the character, and it's it's done pretty well. And it's, uh, it's something you couldn't do in in uh, um, outside of VR, which baffles me about Trover. I don't know how that would be, but anyway. Uh, but yeah, so um, so graphically, it's good. Um, so I guess, Alex, what what is something, I guess sound-wise, what do you think on uh, sound? How do you think the sound is on this game? It's kind of like, it's like the graphics. It's, this game is very run of the mill i mean it, it, it is it's not a bad game it's a good game but it's not really doing anything special in terms of being a platformer and i think that's what's it's a game like if you like platformers you'll like this game you like the way it looks the way the way you move the gameplay the sound everything works everything feels good uh so if you like three three platformers anyway and you like playing them in, in a flat game you're gonna like this. You're gonna enjoy it. 
I think that's the main thing. But if you if you're playing this because you want to, you're expecting to get some sort groundbreaking. of groundbreaking, completely different. Ex- <laughs> yes, yeah, so if you're expecting a completely different experience because it's in VR, then I think you might be a little bit disappointed because ultimately it plays just like any other 3D platformer. But you're just in the game and you can be, you can see the scale. You can. It makes things easier. We said we mentioned before in the main show. Uh, you know the depth of perception of being able to see the distance between objects. It makes it a lot easier to actually judge distances and and, and place your little lucky uh, your little fox where you need him to be placed. So there is that side of things which has improved. But other than that, yeah, it is a very. It's just very basic, standard run of the mill platformer, but in VR. Effectively, see, I like the music. The music to me um, remind it had like a. I don't want to say di- like a Disney cartoon movie feel to it. I don't know. It's like certain music can kind of set the tone. And I was listening to that this morning as I was playing, and I was like that. I just liked the way it made me feel. It kind of give gave me, even though it's not any specific, like a nostalgic feeling um, to it. And maybe that's it. I don't. I don't know. Wes, did you did you think any of the music was like that, or did it did it sound like that, like more of like a Disney music or? I think that that's pretty much indicative of uh, everything in this game. It goes back to what I initially said about it. It's a very cartoony, cute game. And uh, I think that the sound is just another example of it. I think Alex hit it right on the head that this is the sound is like the graphics. It's It works for what this is. It, it's very cute. I think the cuteness factor is what this game has above all. I like the level design. And I like the cuteness factor in this game. Uh, so, yeah, I think it was, it's very, you know, sufficient for what it is. I think it's perfect, perfectly matched to what this game is. Yeah. And uh, honestly, I'd like to see this game on uh, Quest. I think it would port well. And I think for uh, flat gamers who like this sort of game, it would be a very good demo title for those guys. So, uh, yeah, I think it sounds... Just like it looks, it's very cute and uh, and yeah. Okay, let's talk immersion level um, on any level. I you know like I I just like that little part where he's going through the tunnel and stuff. I felt like it it had, did it made me feel like I really was in this little world and and going through trees and stuff. Um, I I I thought it was pretty cool. Um, you know, obviously we've it's it's. <laughs> You know, it's it's basic, but it, um, do either of you, did you feel like, uh, w- did you get lost in the game at all, um, or did you, you know, was there any immersion to it? Yeah, I had, I had pretty good sense of immersion to it. It wasn't groundbreaking or anything, but your limited interactions with the characters, along with the sub-areas that you can lean into and really get a look at, uh, it, it did create a pretty good sense of immersion. Uh, so yeah, yeah. I mean, it did the job. Yeah. It's pretty much this game, right? It's, it gets the job done. It's got every every single. Yeah. Out. Yeah. I mean, it, it is what it is. It is kind of. Yeah, I mean, it, it it's an early it's as an early title. It was great. Right now, I think it's good. I mean, it's held it's held up. It's not a bad title. That like we've got some early titles which play pretty badly now because of the way that things have moved on. Because this is kind of basically. Uh, are based on a flat game almost with the gameplay it's held up fine uh, you know it, if like I think my conclusion if I'll, I'll just I'll conclude it on my end and just say that I think if you like platformers you'll like this game if you don't I just don't think you yeah. will it's just that's pretty as simple. simple as I would, I would say it's pretty it. much every platformer though but but I, I do agree and I, I personally think that um timing is horrible as far as like there's so many games coming out like that are next level and and they're now just now deciding to start charging for it um i just don't think it's the right time like it was a no-brainer uh recommendation at free um at 15 it's it's not quite a no-brainer unless you really like platformers so yeah i would agree well well, the good uh the good thing about it is is that the crowd you know the PC VR crowd that that is the prospective audience for this. They're not competing with Astrobot mm, here. True. You know, th- this is really still the best example 
of this kind of game on PC, probably, unless I'm missing something. The other platformers are not this kind of platform. Mm. So, no, um, you're right. This, you're, this is kind of the only thing PC VR I've got. I mean, Moss isn't really the same game. It's a different game. So, uh, yeah, you're right. Actually, I never thought of that. But uh, if you're just PC VR, this is kind of the... This is your Astrobot. For me. Yeah, this is as close. I mean, it's nowhere near, but it's it's it's... Good. It's competent. Yeah. It does its job. And you have a pet pig, right? Okay. So yeah. So um, I guess we'll just conclude it on that. That it's definitely uh, would be better if it was free, um, <laughs> but it's fifteen dollars now. <laughs> a very good game all around. I mean, the reason why it even came up in in my picks is because it was a great uh, game to introduce to newbies. Um, and I think and I think a lot of people don't really haven't tried it. So. Uh, Unless any, either of you have anything else, um, I think we can conclude it on that, right? I'll just say, I'll just say that that this, it, it, like we've said the whole time, this is a good game, and if you like platforming games, it's a, it's absolutely worth fifteen dollars. Uh, so yeah, I, I recommend it if you like this sort of gameplay. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. I agree. All right, so uh, if you like the uh, video or if you don't like it, uh, let us know. Um, either way and uh, uh subscribe click the uh the bell and uh, join our discord and we will check you out next time so see right. ya bye